Utapi im Norden Namibias. Etwa 6.700 Menschen leben in dieser lebendigen und aufstrebenden Stadt. Utapi ist Hauptstadt und Verwaltungssitz der Region Umusati mit etwa 200.000 Einwohnern. An den Stadträndern Utapis wachsen in rasanter Geschwindigkeit immer neue informelle Siedlungen. Mit diesem Wachstum kann die städtische Strom- und Wasserversorgung kaum Schritt halten. Besonders die sanitäre Versorgung in den Siedlungen ist oft unzureichend. Die Stadtverwaltung von Utapi hat 2013 ein innovatives Sanitär- und Abwassersystem in Betrieb genommen. Das System wurde im Rahmen des deutsch-namibischen Forschungsprojekts Kuve Waters entwickelt. Kuve Water is trying to help our communities who are in need. So there was a need of wash house, individual toilets and other like toilets which are shared by four houses. So this is something that should continue like that because it's helping communities who are in need. Sheikh Duel and Topia Sainego, it was a disaster. People, they were just going behind those trees to help them serve it. Even just go to behind the building, because there's no other way they can go. It was not hygienic, because whenever you are going anywhere, everything is just dirty and oh, it's so unhygienic. And it was so tough for people. Im Rahmen des neuen Sanitär- und Abwassersystems wurden Sanitäranlagen für einzelne Haushalte, kleinere Waschhäuser für je vier Familien und ein großes öffentliches Waschhaus gebaut. Das Abwasser aller Anlagen wird in einer Vakuumkanalisation, einem dichten System mit Unterdruck, gesammelt und zu einer Abwasserbehandlungsanlage transportiert. Hier wird das Wasser zunächst anaerob, das heißt ohne Sauerstoff, behandelt. Dabei werden Kohlenstoffverbindungen abgebaut und in Biogas umgewandelt. Danach wird das Wasser aerob, also mit Sauerstoff, aufbereitet. Auf rotierenden Scheiben gedeihen Mikroorganismen, die durch die Rotation abwechselnd mit Luft und dem Abwasser in Verbindung kommen. Die Mikroorganismen fressen die Verschmutzung quasi aus dem Abwasser heraus. Kohlenstoffverbindungen werden weiter abgebaut. Nützliche Nährstoffe bleiben hingegen weitgehend erhalten. Das Wasser passiert ein Mikrosieb. Dieses hält die bei der Behandlung entstandenen Fest- und Trübstoffe zurück. Diese Feststoffe gelangen in einen Faulbehälter. Zuletzt wird das Abwasser mit UV-Strahlen desinfiziert. Die UV-Strahlen schädigen noch vorhandene Bakterien so, dass sie sich nicht mehr vermehren können. Das aufbereitete und desinfizierte Abwasser wird in ein Speicherbecken geleitet und gelangt von dort auf die landwirtschaftliche Fläche. Die in Biogas umgewandelten Kohlenstoffverbindungen werden für die Erzeugung von Strom genutzt. Der Strom soll die Anlage wieder mit Energie versorgen. Der ausgefaulte Schlamm ist ein natürlicher Dünger für das angebaute Obst und Gemüse. Zukünftig soll der Ertrag aus der landwirtschaftlichen Fläche den Betrieb der Anlage teilweise finanzieren. At the beginning, it was like, oh, how? How it's going to work with the vacuum? Because in town, we're only having a gravity sewer system. But now, how is it going to work with the vacuum? I think that thing is not going to work due to the people are putting a lot of stuff in the system, and maybe it's just going to work. The community health club, it's a group of community members, whereby they come together 
and discuss things concerned about sanitation and hygiene. There are different topics to be discussed. For example, it can be like home care, where they can learn how to take care of their home environment, like cleaning the toilet, or either maybe washing their hands, or keeping their plate clean and cup in the houses. At least just to avoid the parasite to be there, where it leads to different infections and diseases. He's not there at least to tell them what to do and what not to do. He's just there to guide them, give them like different visual aids to discuss, and then they come up with a solution. And then they can also understand why they have that common toilet for the community or that can benefit everyone in that specific community. What was lacking is information. And you know, Mary said that uh, a person is made up of three E's. The first E is the environment that the person has been brought up in. The second E is the education that person has received. And the third E is the experience. I'm Philemon Tangim Sati. I'm a guy of 24 years old. I'm an operator at Otapi Wastewater Treatment Plant. If there is a problem in the plant, I know where is it. I know where to touch. I know where to, like, uh, there is a trouble in the USB. I know how to shooting the trouble inside. And that's how it just came, how to become an operator. It was very hard for me, but since I get the training, I get to use to it, and it was so, and there were one guy from Germany who is a, a technical manager here. He always stays saying, Heikela, please, don't give up. You just learn everything. Then from there, I start learning, and now I'm a good operator. That has been my first time to learn about uh water treatment and water reuse. I had not known that you can use water reuse before for irrigation. And at some point, I didn't even believe it would work. But uh, several, two years down the line after the implementation of the project, it's proved that it's working and farmers are making more use of the reuse water. Yeah, now the water has been tested and it's better than the canal water that is just passing next by. So the water is almost at the level of drinking water. Shino <laughs>
but the only problem that you are having is just during nights night time the washing house is closed and people are still going to the oceana to do their own things or just behind their our treatment plan there they can just do their own things Hello. With a technology that is not known, I think it's the first one to be done in Namibia. Even in Africa, I've traveled around Africa, I've not seen any other project like that one. For sure, it's, it is something that uh, has brought a good thing within the village and within the community and within the country. Kuve Water, I know is is conducting research on that the program, but uh, to us, we found it uh, more appropriate and uh, more useful to us. Uh, socially, the community is having the facility, you know, to use and to help themselves. The sanitation is provided to them. Economically, uh, the project is linked with the irrigation project that provides work for our people. And then uh, the reuse or the purification of the, the water itself. Instead of throwing away that water, then that water we reuse it for producing food. I wish this plant can work for more than more than 50 years to come. Maybe the time I'm going to retire then the thing is still exists. Together.